man. Shout out to God, bruh, and the work ethic behind me standing on business, behind my brand, and behind getting my package, y'all. Like, y'all don't know how many calls I had to make just to get my shit here, y'all. You feel me? I just been, I've been daily uploading once a week right now until this clothing brand takes off. And, bruh, I'm giving y'all boys consistent TDK once. Once I got the money that I need, you know what I'm saying, to make, to get out the content that, that, that y'all boys like, the content that y'all boys really, really want for real, so. Time to go ahead and reveal the shirts. Ron is downstairs, so it's actually a perfect time. I got them all riled up. If you mean they don't know that I got the shirts here with me, so we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna do that. We're gonna go ahead and do this. They don't even know I got the camera with me, so y'all boys, like I said, like, comment, subscribe. First reaction. Shit gonna be turned. Shit gonna be turned, y'all. <laughs> Your dad told her not to talk to me anymore. <laughs> Nah, YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. I ain't been on YouTube in a minute, y'all. Bruh, y'all don't know the stress that I've been going through for this shit, y'all. Like, this shit has been stressful as hell, and excuse my language, bruh, but y'all, I don't think y'all understand right now. Like, I've been trying to get this damn package, bro, for a month, no, I ordered my samples in November, bro. November, like around Thanksgiving, like the end of November, around that time. My manufacturer's been bullshitting, y'all. Like, he has been the worst manufacturer on the planet. Like, as far as updates, as far as getting my clothes done the right way, as far as getting the right colors on the t-shirts done, like, Buddy sent, Buddy was going to send us some shirts that weren't even the right color. Like, it's been stressful as hell, y'all. It's been stressful to get these shirts here, y'all, but, bruh, YouTube. We finally got him. We finally got him, bro. I've been calling UPS, y'all. I'm going to just set y'all up over here, bro, because y'all are definitely going to kick it with me real quick before I put y'all on real quick. But YouTube, bro, I don't think y'all know. I'm going to just show y'all. I'm going to just show y'all before we get into what I want to show y'all because I'm geeked about what we have right now. But y'all have to find, y'all have to know the backstory to all of this, like, and I was going to only do it when this shit finally got here, but y'all have to see this shit, y'all. So, I'm going to just show y'all some messages real quick. And matter of fact, I'm going to just screen record. We're going to screen record right now. Alright, so the screen recording has started. So, y'all, I'm in my WhatsApp right now here, y'all. So, I've been working to try to get these samples, bruh, done for y'all for uh, I don't know how long. Bro. Like, we've been trying to start our clothing brand to get this shit off the ground so we can get rich, bruh. Like... We gonna get rich this year no matter what. Like these clothes is gonna sell. I need them to sell. I need y'all to tap in. I need y'all to buy in. I need y'all to do, you know what I'm saying? Do y'all think? You feel me? But I'm gonna just show y'all here right now. My manufacturer bro did not put my P.O. box on the address. He shipped them via UPS. He shipped them UPS, y'all, and UPS does not deliver to USPS P.O. boxes. So if you got that just just take that down as a note right now. USPS UPS to USPS does not work, y'all. So there's just no way that you can do that. My, my manufacturer did not put my P.O. box on my address. He just got lazy, didn't ask me, you know what I'm saying, that, or didn't tell me that he could put, couldn't put the P.O. box in the address. He also told me that he was going to ship this via DHL. The nigga shipped it UPS. DHL and UPS are two different shipping companies, y'all. That's where he messed up first. Wait, messed up second here. Let me go up to, let me just go to the messages real quick, y'all. Just got a text by DHL. Y'all have seen it right here. I don't know why the hell he called it. It's just, bro, Capri said it best, bro. Don't use Pakistan manufacturers unless they're a quality manufacturer. My, my other manufacturer that's working on my clothes right now, that's giving us a second set of samples that are going to be fantastic. Yes, he's from Pakistan. But the nigga sends updates, y'all. Like, he sends quality updates. He stays on that shit. He's having, he's redoing my shirts because the colors didn't come out the way that I wanted them to come out. Um, like, I thought they would. So, he's going to redo the shirts. And he's going to spend his own money to redo everything. So, shout out to him. Shout out to my new manufacturer because he's the GOAT for what he's doing. Yes, he is from Pakistan. But he's doing his thing. And he's a good quality manufacturer. And shout out to the, shout out to my boy K-Dub who put me on. You feel me? And y'all make sure y'all go cop some of that collective uh, merch too as well. Like, we've been putting them niggas on for um, a fat minute. We've been putting that shit on for a fat minute. So, um, but back to this, y'all. I said, hello, my friend. Hello, yes, my friend. Have any update? 
because this motherfucker does not update me y'all like i've been at i have to reach out to this manufacturer for an update that is a problem that is not how you should do business like your manufacturer should be tapping in with you to get you your product because they're the person behind the shit y'all so um have you been having the update I, I was always asking do you have an update no we don't have an update yet as we should hello just got a text by dhl can you confirm the address Yes, it'll be a P.O. box. I put that as my first message. Yes, you guys can see it right here. It'll be a P.O. box. I gave him the address. P.O. box address, 692 Harrisburg, NC. That's my P.O. box if y'all ever wanna go send some clothes and whatnot. You gotta make sure y'all do that too. That is the address. What is the state name? North Carolina. Okay, boom, got that done, got that knocked out. Did DHL send you a tracking number? I didn't get it yet. Take two to, three, two to three days to send. Hello, what's up, my friend? Blah, 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 blah. Good as well. Yes, we already did. Could you provide me a tracking number? Yes, we will share it with you. I said, awesome, thank you. This motherfucker sent me a tracking number. Let me click into it, y'all. This shit was going to the wrong, the wrong state, y'all. The wrong state, y'all. As y'all can see right here, this motherfucker ship, he gave me a tracking number that was to Las Vegas, Nevada. I'm like, bro, do you think I'm an idiot bro do you think i'm an idiot bro stop playing with me fam stop playing with me so i'm like yo i don't think that's correct delivered to las vegas yes you also sent the package out and it says delivered in december y'all look let me go back to this this shit says that the package has already been delivered december 22nd at 10 a.m to las vegas nevada I'm like, bro, what are you doing, bro? Get your ducks in a row, fam. Like, what are you doing, bro? Like, y'all are just, you're just making this process a lot more stressful than what it has to be, y'all. Like, this process for me getting my first set of samples has put me through the ringer. But we're going to promote everything here in February with these shirts here. Just because the three colors that he did ship, or we have four colors in total. The pink colors that I want to drop. He didn't do it the right color so it is what it is we're just going we're not going to promote that one as much but we're going to promote the other three colors because the other three colors look solid and i'm going to show you all here because the package we finally got the damn package i don't want y'all to see my dress but we finally got the damn package you feel me so the package right there of the clothes i'm about to open it up for y'all just so we can both look at the shit together but i'm gonna get back to this I thought you shipped DHL. Like the nigga was supposed to ship this DHL, but now it shipped UPS, bro. What are you doing, fam? Yes, I will check again. So then he finally comes down to a point to where he sends the five, the, first, the actual tracking number. I'm like, okay, cool. This has the Harrisburg address. I know nobody lives, you know what I'm saying? In Harrisburg, North Carolina, who's getting clothes like I am. You feel me? So boom. I'm gonna stop the screen recording y'all just so y'all can, you know what I'm saying, kick it for my story time for y'all before we get into this here now. Been complications, bro, and he still has not responded from this day, y'all. I asked, I asked them just to update my address. UPS did not want to update my address. They didn't want to do this, this, and that. I kept calling to UPS customer service. They said that my sender had to update the address. The sender, I kept asking him, fam, can you update my address, please, bro? He says, I just told my carrier agent he's handling this now. I asked Buddy to go on a three-way call with me so that we can all be interconnected on the phone. He can provide the proper information that we need for how he sent these. That way I can get my clothes, bro. This goofy, bro, says the, the agent has emailed them already. Emailed who, fam? Who has he emailed, bro? So I'm thinking Cub just gave up on the whole package and just said F it, because I tried to cancel the package to him. I tried to cancel my clothes to him and he was like, said he said no. I had already sent the money through. The money had already went through, so. He had no choice to make the clothes anyway, so and send them through anyway. So it is what it is. But here, y'all, I provided him this. All he had to do was pull the barcode number and provide the um, info notice number to update the address to my physical address or at least the PO box. Cuz still has not responded, responded, y'all. I've been calling around. I put in all the work to get my damn package here, bro, and it took a month. But Enough of the yap sets, y'all. Long story short, don't ever go to a manufacturer that you have no, you know what I'm saying, like, you haven't touched their product yet. Like, I've touched the, I've touched the product of the manufacturer that I'm working with now in Pakistan, and the nigga is great. The nigga even told me about the manufacturer and what he sent here, 
And this pack, I asked for screen print. He did not give me screen print. He gave me DDI print. Direct to something, DTI print or some shit. Direct to something, screen, it's not screen print, you feel me? So this is not even the print that we asked for, but it kind of didn't even show me the back of the shirt. So I'm hoping that the back of the shirts turned out how we wanted them to. I asked for puff print. I asked for I asked for everything to be quality, y'all. So this is y'all gonna get the first lip, the first glance, my first reaction. Because y'all, I've literally been waiting three months to get my clothes for my manufacturer, and they finally got here. I literally made two more calls today through UPS. I was on the phone. Let me show y'all, y'all. Let me show y'all, fam. Because I was on the phone today for 40, 40 minutes, almost an hour, arguing with somebody from UPS. One of the international people, 44 minutes, y'all, of customer service time. 44 minutes, y'all. Customer service time, talk time, with UPS trying to update my address for these clothes, y'all. Y'all don't know how stressful it's been for me to get my damn clothes, y'all. So just, just, long story short, and just, just to keep this to y'all, if y'all are going to start a clothing brand, yo, just use your actual address, bro. Just use your actual physical address, bro. Don't use a P.O. box address because you never know who your manufacturer is going to ship your clothes to or ship your clothes through. I thought it was going to go through DHL. DHL was supposed to drop the clothes off at the P.O. box, but that wasn't the case, so now I had to update everything. So it is what it is, y'all, but let's get into the pack, y'all. Let's, let's get into the pack, y'all. You feel me? Like, let me turn the ring light on, you feel me? Y'all can see the aesthetic in the back, you feel me? But let's get into my pack, y'all. Hold on, y'all. Hold on, bruh. I'm gonna take y'all to the, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna go grab a knife real quick because y'all, this shit has been stressful, bro. Stressful as hell, y'all. You feel me? And I know I probably went dark real quick. Stressful as hell, y'all, but we, we finally here. We finally made it. And man, shout out to God, bruh, and the work ethic behind me standing on business, behind my brand, and behind getting my package, y'all. Like, y'all don't know how many calls I had to make. Just to get my shit here, y'all. You feel me? Y'all finna get the first glimpse <laughs> of Yukari Studios. I'm definitely taking the camera. I'm taking y'all to mom's house because y'all are gonna get Bron and mom's reaction too. Because Bron's a part of this too, bro. Shout out to Prada. You feel me? Y'all make sure y'all go like, comment, subscribe on Prada. Prada just also hit 10, 10K followers on TikTok, bro. Bron's gonna start bringing in that income on the TikTok side. Y'all go follow our TikTok bro. And if any of y'all clothing brand owners want to send us some clothes, you feel me? Send it to our P.O. box. You know what I'm saying? We put that shit on on TikTok. All right. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> this shit is hard, y'all. My dream, bro. My dream is finally come to my reality. This shit is so hard, please. <laughs> Oh my God, Twin, this shit is hard. Y'all already see the quality behind my brand, y'all. Look at the motherfucking colors, nigga. Look at the motherfucking colors, nigga. Bro, this shit for the sellout, Twin. I was supposed to get Quan one. Yo, look at the motherfucking colors, Twin. This shit is so hard. I'm gonna let Bron and him. Oh, nigga. Oh my god. Nigga, this shit was worth the fucking wait, y'all. This shit was worth the fucking wait. Oh my god, Slay. I'm definitely putting this shit on for y'all in this video real quick, bro. I made this. Me and Bron made this shit, nigga. Right here. Literally right there in the closet, bro. We were sitting right there, nigga. Right there! Oh my god, nigga. We waited so long for the best shit to come out. This shit is gonna have me quit this shit right now today, nigga. Y'all don't know how turnt I am, bro. Oh my god, nigga. We went crazy with these motherfuckers. Oh my god. Let me open mine first, bro, because I, I got the blue one. Prada got, well, really? We were supposed to give this to Quan when we went to the pop-up shop. Like, y'all were supposed to see us hand us, hand him one of our samples to our brand, and he was supposed to put this shit off. But, fuck it, y'all. We, we gonna put this shit on ourselves, but we definitely got, this was supposed to be Quan's right here, the medium size, but fuck it. I'm gonna keep the medium and the large. I'm gonna keep these two, and then Prada can get 
Prada can get the two largest because Prada's taller than me, you feel me? So I'm gonna have him open that one. Oh, Ra was supposed to have one too, twin. We're supposed to get Ra one too. So Ra was supposed to get a blue one. And Kwa was supposed to get one of these like oranges. You know what I'm saying? Like one of these reddish pink ones. These motherfuckers are hard. I haven't even opened the damn box yet, y'all. Like, oh my god, and then mom got the pink one. The pink one is crazy. Oh my god, the pink one is crazy. Bro! Alright, y'all, let me. Let me open this shit for y'all, boys. Bro! I'm gonna just open this one because I'm gonna keep one of them in the pack. Bro! I haven't even seen the back of these, y'all. Nigga, this shit is hard. He didn't do the puff print on the back, twin. Why didn't you do the puff print? This shit is low-key hard. He left too much space down here. That's the only problem with this shit, y'all. It was it's pretty damn close. And we still gonna put this shit on just cause this is just our first set of samples, bro. But y'all. Look at this shit. Nigga, this is literally my dream shirt, nigga. Like, niggas woke up and designed this shit out of the closet, fam. This is supposed to be, y'all, I'll show y'all the details. This is supposed to be puff print. Like, the paint, the paint splatters are supposed to be puff print, y'all. So, that was something that he didn't do correct. But, nigga, we got studios right here. You feel me? Y'all, boy, make sure y'all go follow your car. Go cop this shit right now, man. Like, and we're not gonna do no pre-orders. We're not gonna fuck up and do pre-orders because we done seen the effects of niggas doing pre-orders. And if you gotta wait a month for your shit to come, bruh, like this, I can only imagine, bruh. This shit took a month to get me and this ain't even the right shit. It's the right color. It's definitely the right color. The front is P as fuck. But the nigga left too much space up here. He left too much space right here, y'all. Like, this should look goofy as hell right there. But, and then the studios, he gave he gave us too much, left too much. He put the studios, like, right there and then left too much space right here. So, I'm like, what the hell are you doing? But, y'all, this is just the first look at your Yukari, you feel me? The Yukari shirts. Let me put this shit on real quick, y'all. Like, I got put this, I got put this shit on. I got put this shit on, Twin. I know it looks goofy right now because the front, and we'll figure out how to, I don't know how the hell we're gonna crop it. We probably won't even be able to crop it, bro. But, bro, this is the first look at my motherfucking brand, y'all. It's looking kind of too big right here, too, but you feel me? You feel me? You feel me? This shit is hard. You feel me? Yeah, you feel me? Hold on, let me throw some shit on real quick for y'all real quick. You feel me? Hold on, son. Cause we got the chains right here lined up and ready to motherfucking go, nigga. Hold on, son. You, you. You feel me? Hey, y'all, boy. This is my shit, man. This that Yukari Studio shit, man. I know the front look kind of goofy. I'm saying, try to tap that hole like that, like such, nigga. But you know, it's a little too big. It's a little too. This shit needs to be. This shit just, you know what I'm saying, the first set of samples, you feel me? So, y'all boys let me know. Y'all boys let me know. What y'all boys think, you feel me? Just, 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 just for what we got going. Like, y'all can kind of kick the concept of what we, what the fuck we trying to do here, y'all, you feel me? So, let me, let me grab y'all real quick, make sure the battery not dying. You feel me? <laughs> nigga! <laughs> this shit is so hard, twin! Oh my god, nigga! Oh my god, nigga! Y'all don't even know! Y'all don't even know! Yo! This shit looks crazy, twin! Damn! 
nigga. Yo, if this shit wasn't on there like that, y'all, y'all, this shit be crazy. I can't believe, like, this is, bro, I literally was manifesting this shirt. Like, I don't think y'all boys understand. I was manifesting this shirt in my sleep with it on, and now I got this motherfucker. This motherfucker with the... <laughs> that Y in the back is so hard, twin. I don't think you niggas understand. That Y in the back is hard as hell. Oh my God. Yo. Look at the Y in the back, twin. Bro. Oh my God, bruh. Hey, y'all let me know what y'all think. One through 10 in the comment section, nigga. One through 10 in the comment section, nigga. Oh my gosh, we went crazy with this concept, nigga. Bro, God, this is gonna be the hottest brand out next. Like, this shit gonna be the hardest brand out next. Like, nobody has no colors like this. Nobody has this nigga like this on the front of their shirt. And, bro, the fact that we got this motherfucking Y on the back of this bit, yo, oh my gosh. Like, I'm feeling like him. I don't think y'all niggas understand. I'm feeling like him. Like, yo. This gonna be the one that, you know what I'm saying? That get us out the hood. I'm telling y'all, this gonna be the one that get us out the hood. And we have the other colors. Like, this ain't even the hottest color. Like, this is just the calm color. And then we got the sweats on the way too, y'all. Like, oh my gosh, bro. We shit it. We shit it. Oh my gosh, we shit it. And then look at the other colors, y'all. Like, ooh, we shit it, nigga. We got a pink. We got like an all pink. You know what I'm saying? And we got that, we got that Florida Gator shit. You feel me? We got that Florida Gator shit. Look at this shit, y'all. Oh my gosh, we shit it, y'all. I don't think y'all boys understand we just shit it, bro. Y'all boys make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, though. I'm not gonna soak up too, too much of this for myself. I'm gonna knock out the rest of this word that I got here, right here, y'all. And then I gotta go to Mon Duke's crib, bro, because we gotta go take this to Mon Duke's and get their and get their reaction. Because I texted Mon Duke today, and I told her about just the process, bro, and like how I'm I'm at like a, I was at a boiling point, y'all. Like I was ready just to go off on everybody in the world right now because about about these shirts, you feel me? Because I've been trying to get this shit for the last three months, you feel me? So, bro, I don't think y'all niggas understand. But y'all boys stay tuned, y'all like, comment, subscribe. I know I'm running out of, you know what I'm saying, out of storage on this SD card. So I gotta swap the SD card and then we're gonna take this shit to my Duke's crib. So y'all boys stay tuned. When y'all do catch me, I'm not driving the vet today because it's raining out here in North Carolina right now. So I'm gonna take the Camry. I also gotta go pick up a chair for this room. And bro, I, I done updated the room as y'all boys can see. You feel me? I done updated the motherfucker. You feel me? Like this shit, this shit is too, it's too crazy in here now, y'all. Like, who crazy in here now? Nah, but I'm running out of storage, y'all. So y'all boys make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and uh, y'all gonna catch me when we get to mom's. All right, YouTube. I lied. I lied. I lied. I lied. I lied. I, I said I was gonna cut y'all on back at mom's house, but I just finished my, my nine to five. You feel me? The nine to five that I'm trying to quit to get y'all these clothes. You feel me? So like, I need y'all boys to to yap in, you yap in. But I'm just looking for my shoes real quick. Oh, and my tripod. That's what I was thinking of, right here. You feel me? I gotta put this on real quick, y'all. So let me go ahead and screw y'all on real quick. And y'all just seen that that pack was on the flow. The pack was on the flow. And no POV of the vet today, y'all. Because I have to get this chair from my Dukes. But I'm also finna bring them this pack. We finna get their reaction. Bro. We finna get Bron's reaction. Let me just make sure Bron's at home too. Because Bron be, Bron be out doing his own thing. And if he not home. Which I don't see why he shouldn't be. Then, uh, it's not gonna really be much of a surprise. That nigga is not home. So, yeah, y'all, I'm not sure how this vlog's gonna go because Braun is out doing Braun things, you feel me? But, um, I'm still on, I'm still bringing the pack to mom's crib. So, if Braun wanna see, he better get his ass home. You know what I'm saying? He better get his ass home. Y'all, boy, spam my com comment section product. Get y'all ass home because we got work to do now, bro. We got to promo these shirts. For the next couple of months, you feel me? Like, we gotta promo these joints, but let me see what shoes I'm gonna put on. Mm, mm, mm. Should I go slide, y'all? Y'all let me know. 
I'm just trying to, um, I don't know why, I just really should just throw, throw anything on. I think I'm going to go slides. I think I'm going to go schmeezy slides right here for the day. I'm going to put them joints on real quick. And yeah, y'all, we're going to go ahead and get Mom Deuce reaction at least. Uh, because Mom Deuce helped put in on the investment. This is actually part of uh, my Christmas gift, so I really do got like, I got majority of the shirts, you feel me? And shout out to Mom Dukes for doing her th thistle with that. But with that being said, I'm done talking, I'm done yapping y'all's heads off, boy. Y'all just gonna catch me in the video head at the Mom Dukes crib. And like I said, next clip, we're gonna be inside Mom Dukes crib. So, uh, Mom, Mom, Mom about to go crazy because we've been, I've been, bruh, I literally text her today and we've been stressing. We've been stressed about this shit like for a minute now. So the fact that our shit's finally here and we finally get to see this shit, y'all, is just a whole nother level. You feel me? A whole nother level. You feel me? So y'all boys, again, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Y'all boys, stay tuned for this journey of TDK. And then too, I fish y'all man bears. You feel me? But uh, yeah, we go. All right, YouTube. I told y'all boys I wasn't going to give y'all boys no Camry vlog, but fuck it. We in the bucket like fuck it. You feel me? Excuse my language. I'm gonna clip some of it out, but we in the bucket, like, fuck it. You know, feel me? We headed to Mon Deuce house, y'all. I'm just, I'm happy, bro. God definitely put me through the fucking ringer this week, boy. But, shit, this week, actually, I'm not even gonna say, like, he put me through the ringer. Because, actually, it's been a great-ass week, you feel me? It's not actually been a bad week. Work, my, like, my 9 to 5 has been hitting, you know what I'm saying? I've been, I've been doing what I need to do there to make the money that I need to make back to shake back on that. Damn, nigga, what the fuck was the point of doing that, twin? Niggas out here is driving retarded. But yeah, y'all, 9 to 5 is working out the way I needed to, you feel me? Um, and then, like I said, bro, y'all seen it, bro. I was just talking y'all, yapping y'all's head off, bro. Like, it's just been, it's been, it's been a week, bro, as far as, like, trying to get these, these clothes, bro. I've been manifesting selling this, this clothing brand, bro, manifesting selling out, manifesting overselling everything, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I got a number in my head of the amount of stuff that we want to sell, but I'm hoping that the shit, you know what I'm saying? I'm not even hoping, I'm just, you know what I'm saying? I'm knowing that the shit should go over. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think the world will rock with what, we, what we're producing, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, and, and shit, it's not, it's not going to be bad quality from our new manufacturer. Like, our new manufacturer is putting his fucking foot in these shirts, and it's going to be the quality of some shit that we done already seen, so... Bruh, like I say, y'all boys stay tuned for this journey. This is just only the beginning of this shit, y'all. Bron is not at home, so you know what I'm saying? We're not going to be able to get his reaction today, so I might have to double back. Or just wait until he get home. I got a video also dropped tonight, too. Um, y'all boys stay tuned for that, too, as well. I just been, I've been daily uploading once a week right now until this clothing brand takes off. And, bro, I'm giving y'all boys consistent TDK once. Once I got the money that I need, you know what I'm saying, to make... To get out the content that, that, that y'all boys like. The content that y'all boys really, really want for real. So, that's just really what we're going to do, bruh. Uh, I just got off the phone with Mon Duke. She doesn't know that the shirts is here, you feel me? Bron don't know that the shirts is here. I got off the phone with her. I told her that I was coming to pick up the chair that I needed to come get from her. And so, that's all she knows. She don't know that I got the shirts today. I texted her today. And like I said, like I've been saying in the last couple of clips, I texted her today and said, bruh, like, it's been stressful trying to get the run around for these shirts and, and she was like she was agreeing with me and she like bro you need to figure out how to talk to some management or something and, and get our shirts bro because this is like what do you have to prove she's like bro send proof of proof of that you paid for these shirts or something like but i'm like that doesn't get nothing in the ups world you feel me as far as getting the, the getting the shit to my crib so that none of that shit really worked for real it was just me calling and calling and calling and then i had to call i had to call the the hub today the hub that's in lake norman out here in north carolina I don't know how the fuck did you get all the way out there. I called and called and called and called and called like nobody was answering the phone. And then I finally got a lady to answer the phone and she just like, she was okay kind of rude. But then, then she called back like 10 minutes later and it was just weird. And I answered the phone on the first call. Typically I have my phone on D&D y'all. Like my phone typically be on D&D and I don't, I don't be answering to nobody nowadays just because I've been so focused and locked in on trying to get these shirts going, trying to get my YouTube going, trying to get my, my just my social media in, in general. I'm just trying to build everything there, TikTok, Snapchat, everything, like everything's been hitting lately. And I've just been trying to grow that shit, grow it every day, stay consistent, stay consistent in the gym and just lock in on my dreams for real, for real, y'all. So, it's just been, you know what I'm saying? It's just been one of them journeys, you feel me? Like, 
and, and this shit finally, it finally here. I know it's not the quality that we wanted it to, but just to be able to, you know what I'm saying, say that we got it, be able to see this shit, physically be able to put this shit on, bro, it's just, it's totally different, bro. Not a, not a lot of niggas get to do this shit for real. You feel me? Not a lot of niggas get to make their dreams happen. Not a lot of niggas. And I sourced out the manufacturer from my homeboy. My homeboy was supposed to be putting me on this manufacturer. But, you know, you bumped your head, bro, with this shit. You know what I'm saying? Never, nothing's going to be perfect on the first go. Nothing's going to be perfect on the first on the first try. You feel me? So, that's, what I, that's just what I've heard. That's just what I've seen. This is just what I've seen from other clothing brands. You know what I'm saying? Other clothing brand owners. Like, you bumped your head a few times before you actually get to where you want to go. And, and I hear this shit's a lot more stressful, you know what I'm saying, in the beginning. But... Once you figure it out, and then you start to be able to output some consistent good shit, y'all, it's, it's definitely, it's definitely worth the while. It's definitely worth the wait. You feel me? So, to all them, all the youngins out here, you feel me? Like, and I'm just trying to speak some motivation to y'all and, and people who are trying to start clothing them brands and shit like that, and, and trying to get off their feet. You know what I'm saying? And, and get their family. You know what I'm saying? Out of a situation that they don't want to be in no more. Shit, I'm just telling y'all right now. Stay down until you come up. Don't overstress it, you know what I'm saying? Stay on your P's and Q's. Make sure you standing on your business, bro. And make sure you, and, and just make sure that you just try to, you know what I'm saying, see everything through, bro. And, and don't give up, you know what I'm saying? That was one thing I didn't do with this shit was like, there were so many times I could have gave up. My manufacturer not responding, not updating my address, you feel me, with, as far as getting my shipments and everything of that nature. Um, and then the UPS, you know what I'm saying, just giving me the run around and not updating my address, saying that the sender, my, my manufacturer had to change the address on, on his end. and. But I had to go through UPS My Choice, and I'm like, what the hell am I on the phone with y'all for if I gotta go through UPS My Choice and I gotta go through the app? Like, that just don't make no sense. Y'all should be able to manually input my address and update it for me with the information that I'm giving y'all. Like, and I told him that I've been waiting three months, three, three times, three months to get these shirts, y'all. Like, it's been no joke of the grind of that I've been trying to just get the shirts, but I ain't even had to fucking make them. Like, just trying to get them to my crib, it's just been, it's just been a hassle, but they're here now, y'all. Just want to give y'all, like, an update, just talk to y'all boys while I'm, while I'm driving. It's going to get real dark here because North Carolina is dark, dark as hell. We really don't got no lights in the back roads here, so I'm dead talking y'all's heads off. Next time I open y'all's eyes up, back open, we're going to be at my douche crib, you feel me? We're going to go up from here, y'all. You know what I'm saying? 2024, definitely going to be our year for sure. We're going to bump our head plenty of times before we actually get this shit going, but shit, hey, it's better to do the shit, bump your head than not, you know what I'm saying, bump your head and not do the shit at all, you feel me, so, y'all boys like, comment, subscribe, love y'all boys, the niggas that we're supporting have been supporting since day one, I love y'all boys, um, and shit, we gonna go up from here, 2024, like I said, it's, it's, it's all year, you feel me, but, in the meantime, with Tucson, y'all boys know the saying, goddamn, we go! Quick update, y'all, you feel me, quick update, Braun is... Headed to the Krabby, you feel me? So, Brian finna see the shirts too, y'all. So, like I said, y'all boys stay home. I did get a little light from me, you feel me? <laughs> uh, because my light in the car don't work, I guess. Like I said, we are literally in the bucket, like, fuck it, you feel me? But, gang is on the way. And everything working out today how, how I want it to, y'all. So, we finna got now, we finna get everybody reaction today. Not just gonna be just my dude. It's it gonna be everybody, bro. We finna get. <laughs> We so excited, bro. We finna get this shit going, bro. Like, man, y'all niggas don't know. Y'all niggas just don't know, man. Like, Again, y'all boys like, comment, subscribe. They wanna get y'all a date. Twin, it's finna be at the crib, so everybody finna get to see the shirts. But like I said, next clip, we at my crib. Hi, right, YouTube. So I'm outside the crib at my Duke's crib right now. How I'm gonna do this is I brought some mail. I just wanna make sure I can't see the address, my address and shit. Uh, but I did bring some mail. So I'm gonna walk in here first. Before I show them the shirts, I'm gonna bring in this mail, send my mom my W2s and whatnot, talk and chop it up with them, bring the chair out here, then I'm gonna bring y'all inside with the clothes. Cause I can't bring everything in all at the same time. So I'm gonna bring my I'm gonna bring my, my chair out here. You know I'm saying put the chair in the car and then I'm gonna bring the camera in there. So I'm gonna just make it seem like I just came over here, you know what I'm saying? Drop off this mail, pick up the chair, like I say I gotta run, gotta go make a YouTube video, you know what I'm saying, X, Y, and Z. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to get the surprise reaction because they don't know the shirts is here. So, um, we're going to do that real quick, y'all. Y'all boys stay tuned because I can't wait to see the reaction, bro. I really can't wait to see the reaction. So, y'all boys, again, like, comment, subscribe. And I'm going to get back to y'all here when we get in the crib. Bron is here. Like I said, Bron got here before I did. So, big W video today. Big W video today. Everything was literally working out as I wanted it to. And as I planned, I literally just left work and got work done uh, right when I wanted to. And things of that nature. But again, y'all boy like, comment, subscribe, but we finna go up.
All right, YouTube. So we're gonna go ahead and run in here real quick, y'all. I just got my chair back here. You feel me? As y'all boys can see, there go my chair. I'm gonna show y'all when I get home. You feel me? But it's time to go ahead and reveal the shirts. Ron is downstairs, so it's actually a perfect time. I got them all riled up. You feel me? They don't know that I got the shirts here with me, so we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna do that. We're gonna go ahead and do this. They don't even know I got the camera with me, so y'all boys, like I said, like, comment, subscribe. First reaction. Shit gonna be turned. Shit gonna be turned, y'all. It, it gotta be turned. You feel me? Even though the shirts not the quality that we want them. It's still the fact that we got them, and the quality is still kind of crazy for the front. So, bruh, it's overflow. It's overflow. It's overflow. <laughs> Your dad told her not to talk to me anymore. YouTube, look at that reaction, y'all. Look at that reaction, bruh. Look at their face. <laughs> Bruh, y'all can actually, like, this is a genuine reaction, bruh. This is exactly what I wanted when I brought the shirts to him, bruh. Like, look at Ron. And then look at, look at Bob, bruh. They, they are absolutely shook. They were talking about something serious before that, but, you know, that, like, killed everything they were talking about, bruh. And the, the T-shirts just, it just shifted the whole room, you feel me? Like, yeah. Yeah. See nothing. They they saw my work too. Yo, that joint is hard. That color is hard. Yo, y'all don't even know. Yo, that color is so hard. Oh my god. Look at that joint. I haven't even seen this. Let me see because I didn't even open it. Yeah. Oh, this, is, this is quality. It is kind of quality. I'm not going to lie. Okay. <laughs> it did come out the colors low key. Yeah. That is hard. That pink one is hard. I just wish the shirt was the color of the that we wanted. But that joint is still not it's still not bad. I put mine on too in the video already. I already opened one of these blue ones. Oh, you already, you already Y'all just know? didn't know. Yeah. I, I, okay, this so is the one I opened. This is large, large. Yeah, large is big. Yeah, I told yeah. you. I told you you ain't want no large for real. I told you how these manufacturers get. Look at Twin. Yo, that joint is hard. Let me see the pack to the 360. That joint is stupid. That joint is stupid. Oh my gosh. Yo, that joint is hard. I'm not even going to lie, bro. Just the colorway. Bruh, yo, y'all don't even know that joint is hard. And this is the print, right? This is like no, nah, that's not the print. That's the wrong print. Oh, you. This is not how you want it on no. the shirt. No, uh, uh. It's gonna come out better than that. Really? Yeah, it's gonna come out better than that. That blue one is hard. I like this. Yeah, you feel me? You get your, you can keep it blue one too. Look at that. Yeah, we got a promo these now, bruh. It's promo time, bruh. Tell you promo time. We're gonna just use these the promo for real. Really? Yeah, I wanna keep these in the pack. Before the other ones come keep in. Keep these ones in the pack so I can do like a little pack video, like a you know what I'm saying, throw it on the floor. Do pack. you get any smalls? Oh, this is a large too. I thought I opened a medium. Nope. 
Yours is a large though. That pink one is a large. I want a medium. The medium, the only medium that I have is this other pink one that Braun has on. That what was supposed size to be is that? This is a large. Oh, that's a large? Oh, I that was wrong. This is a this is a medium. The green one's a medium. And then okay. the, this one. This other one? This one is a medium too. No, that's a large. No, but the other one's here, right here. Oh. It's a medium. It's the same color. It's the same color oh, though. Let me see turn around. That that pink is hard, Tan. I don't like the pink with the red. Two, huh? I don't like the pink with the red. Nah, it's not red. supposed to be pink. That joint is hard. I ain't gonna lie. Let me see the back again. Yeah, that joint is quality. That joint is quality. Yeah. I'm not even gonna lie. Look at that joint. I already have put mine on in the video. I showed them and everything as soon as I got it. So is your release in now before you get the official other one? No, we got a promo. We promo in. Yeah. I'm just saying, like you're you're putting this out there though, like oh yeah, you're releasing what it looks like. Yeah, we about to start showing them the production on this new shirt. Yeah, but so. yeah, we about to we about to we about to get the show rolling. I thought that you would wait before we can get both orders in to do that. No. That's too late. We have to promo to get our viewers to go to the website, subscribe, we need to get a subscriber account, all that stuff needs to happen. Yeah. Well, yeah, and then, to me. I don't when we know. open the website, they just go and buy. Yeah, I'm like, why would we get the book? I'm just people saying, like, like yeah. what keeps people from stealing the idea? Like, I mean, we're already in production. We're already we in production. make it like that. Yeah. People are going to steal ideas regardless. Yeah, they're going to steal ideas. It's just a matter of who comes out with it first. That's what I'm saying. That's, that's what I'm saying. Like, I wouldn't want anybody to just snatch this get with their manufacturer and release some because we still working with another manufacturer. Good luck. It'll be, uh, it'll be done before that. Yeah, I think we're going to be all right. But we have to, we have to start promo on our shirts so we can get our followers. And yeah. We got to get up. We got to get up. I would want you like, to do on. that at least when we have confirmation that the other ones are on the way. This giant is so saturated though. It takes a long time to it's so sad. That's what I'm saying. Like, like we're not going to be process. able to release shirts for people to buy until we have that other manufacturer in production. She's thinking about it too production. much. YouTube, let us know if mom's thinking about it too hard, bro. I think no. she's thinking about it too much, bro. Listen, too we many. already. This is our idea. It's it is your idea. I get that. But I'm just saying, the other manufacturer is still in production with the samples. These samples took forever. Yeah. I want our samples to be on the way before you start advertising. That's all. No, we got to advertise. We got to get our followers up. It's like we got to let them know we're coming. It can't be too late. Yeah. It's not going to be too late as long as we've got the manufacturer saying, hey, your shirts are done and they're on the way. Then it's like, boom, let's promote because the shirts are on the way. And then once we get those samples, then we're legit ready to order in bulk. I don't think nobody's going to sell our idea. We're not big enough yet. That's what that's what happens. Big people steal little people's ideas because we're not big enough. But it's Yukari, and this is not going to be our only drop, Mom. <laughs> but this is hard. I see what you're saying. It is hard, yeah. though. Yeah. That, this is not, like, little artists, like, little artists get took all the time because they're not big enough. And somebody big comes along and is just like, snatch your idea since they're already big. Everybody jumps onto them like, no, that was us. That was our brand. What are the original ones? We're the original it creative. doesn't matter. And if anything, the we're so creative not. that we can drop something even harder than this. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> this is just the beginning. <laughs> we already got three and four and five ideas already ready for the next drop. Oh, my gosh. All right. We got ideas stacked on I ideas. know you do, but I, I really like this idea. I really like it. I don't think nobody's going to take it, though. I think they're gonna think it's tech. I think they're gonna hate on it first before they before they take it. Yeah. Right. I honestly think that's just how it's gonna be. Well, that's. But we are gonna get it right, mom. We are gonna get it right. Don't worry. Okay. Don't worry, mom. Okay. Nobody gonna steal our idea. Yeah, Ours know. is way too hard. It's just if they do come out with it, they're gonna come out with some different colorways. It's just not gonna be. It's not gonna be Yukari. It's not gonna be copy for copy. I see somebody. Yeah, this. there's brands who already do it already. They already copy. Like the shirt that I have, the collector shirt that I have. Beardner Studios already came out with a shirt that's kind of like that. But because his pricing is different, a lot more people are going to buy into his. That joint is hard. I just seen somebody's tea. That joint is like hard, John. Bro. Which hot boys think, bruh? <laughs> bruh, that joint is hard, bruh. But this is just a little process, y'all. 
I do want to keep these ones in the package so we can do like a little package video unless you know how to fold them. I'm, I'm trying to fold them. Back. I just don't know how to fold it the right way. But I'm trying to figure it out, y'all. Y'all boys, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. I did tell y'all I was gonna give y'all boys a surprise reveal, so they both, so they can. What's that? This is the team. You feel me? That gets them like the shirt. You feel me? So Ron yeah. just giving Mama an example of what's Who's going on. What shirt is this? You feel me? But y'all boys, like, comment, subscribe. Let me get y'all boys. I'm gonna cut y'all's eyes back open here soon. I got a video to go drop here soon, so y'all boys, so make sure y'all go watch that. We got them. Y'all got it on. Okay, look at the fam. We done turned the dream into reality! That junk is hard! Yo! Yeah, bro, that, that junk's quality on you, bro. I ain't gonna lie, it's man. That junk is hard. The world gonna be wearing these one day, y'all. The world gonna be wearing these one day, y'all. No, yeah, make sure y'all always go get y'all one. I'm the only one that don't got it on right now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I already showed y'all what I look like with it all. Hey, you wanna try this one on? Yeah, let me try that one on real quick, bro. Let me try that medium medium on real quick. Here, you take the camera. Can't fit that. Huh? I probably can't fit that medium. The medium? Yeah, see? Then the large might work for you. Well, that was your color anyway. Let's see the details. I'm gonna send the uh, car. That was your color anyway. Let me see the back. 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 What the hell? What the hell? I don't remember picking pink. You picked pink. I think pink picked me. No, you picked pink. Oh, snap, this is hard. That's hard. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's perfect on you, Mr. So it's so crazy. It's so slim. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All I'm going to do is just roll it. I'm going to just tuck this, you feel me? Tuck yeah. it real quick. Tucky, tucky. Oh, it looks and way harder like that. <laughs> tucky, tucky. Right. That joint is hard, son. That does look tough. I ain't gonna lie. Bruh, let me look at it in the, in the mirror. See, the sleeves are long on this. Yeah, that's how they're supposed to be. My hair looks crazy, y'all. Sorry for my hair. It's, it's locking a little bit, though, y'all. You feel me? It's locking, though. Yeah, Man, no that joint kind of no hard, cow. son. Oh, my God! Oh! <laughs> let me see the back, brother. Let me see the back, oh brother. Yeah. your boy i'm out here getting yo you feel me i'm trying to a whole new tag let me try out my pink one though hold on bro i ain't even get to see what i look like with the pink giant let me see twin. so it's medium it's a medium no this is a large chair yes sir let me put on the pink giant y'all so y'all can kick all the colors tonight you feel me i brought i brought the Did you, try, you tried the orange one uh-uh I just don't want to feel like refolding. I'm trying to make a video. You know how you do like the package videos? Yeah. I'm trying to do one of those videos. Yes. We low key should have got all of them in the medium. I ain't even gonna lie. So yeah, because the it's like the bottom is too long. Yeah, bro. yeah the bottom is too long. I need this one. Oh, that yeah. Is hard. We all should have got medium. I see what it looked like on me. 
This pink one is cool, but it's just not. It's not hitting like that one. Yeah, the pink one is but definitely more simple. The back of hard. Yeah, the back of the pink one the is crazy. The back is crazy. It's really nice. It is. Mm. Oh. I like the back better. I like the front. Yeah. It's like the Ukari on the, the pink Ukari one. The Ukari on the pink different. one is just hitting crazy. Oh, and then the studios is thicker too, though. I feel like, like yeah. I don't know what it is. Oh, it is thicker. It right? is. Let it's a lot more difference. bigger. Like that's how I want it's it. Right, Mom? Yeah, cause Mom on this one, look at it right there. It's smaller. And then look. look. At, oh, oh, it is. Yeah. What the size of the, the studio? Studios. I think the big, the bigger oh. studios is way harder. Because it's a lot. I feel like the Ukari is like 3D on this one. Yeah, and it's is not it? as 3D on that one. Like, oh, y'all can see the difference. Oh, look. Yeah, it's not 3D. On the 3D pink one, it's on 3D. This one is hard. Because it's a bigger shirt. No, no I don't think it's, I think it's just because he. You see what we're just, talking about, though? What? Look, the Ukari. Right, look at the, look at the, like, look the, at 3D. the 3D print. You see this? Oh, it's like okay, vibrant. on the Ukari. Oh, oh and, then and then that's that just, just regular. Like regular. Yeah, exactly. I knew something like was changed different. changed up the font entirely. Okay, like, like, you just did the shirts completely. Everything is that's, different. Let me see the other one. This shirt is still hard, though. Like, the back, no, the back is of the pink one, one is, like, crazy. perfect. Yeah. See, that's the same. See, this is a large. They did that on this one, too. Yeah. yeah. Like, you didn't do the 3D print. Yeah, you did it. It would have changed the whole back of the It would have changed the whole have. back of the, the Ukari on the back. And then the studio is smaller, the studio's smaller there. Yeah. Such a difference it's in a, the such shirt. A thing, but it's a good thing to have these so we can know what we send to the new manufacturer yeah. and be like, okay, I see yeah. what you guys want. Okay. But, dog, oh, this gun is still Let hard. Let me see. It yeah, because look at the eyeballs. Yeah. The yeah. eyeballs are different there than they are on this one. They are. Because that's his him, actual skin tone. I sent him the wrong PNG for the front of the pink one. It was really supposed to be like a... He's supposed to have a white t-shirt with like light blue eyes. He's supposed to be a lighter like white. Like he's supposed to be pale. Okay. He's supposed to be like white, 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 like pale. Like. Yeah, so the Yakari actually pops. Yeah, the Yakari doesn't exactly. Really pop. It's not popping like the original. I can show so you what you the, like that one better. Which one? This one. Because it's got the 3D... I back. just like the back. The back is like the back. Yeah. If you can execute the back this way. That looks like a straight like YouTube stamp. Like yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, it be, look, the original shirt for the pink one is not supposed to look like this. Like the the original is not supposed like this looks like what me and Braun first came out with. Like yeah. this was the original like the, the first night. The first night. Yeah. <laughs> Literally the first night. The night of. So it's just interesting that this is not gonna be this. This this seems quality to me. It's not bad. That does seem quality, but I feel like it's this is quality and the t shirt isn't. So it's like weird. Uh -huh. Like the t shirt is like thin to me. What GSM is it? Do you know? Mm -mm, bro, I think you just put it on a regular t shirt. I ain't gonna lie, bro. This yeah. is not for like it's no no any type of GSM, bro. Like yeah, because it's the t shirt is see through. Look, almost. this is supposed to be the pink shirt, bro. It's not see through. This is supposed to be our pink oh, shirt, y'all. Like put different. your finger. If it don't focus, it in the dark is too light. All right, we'll just bring down the exposure. <laughs> uh oh. All right. You're at one percent. Oh yeah, I see. Yeah, y'all. You feel me? So that's how the pink shirt is supposed to be. Like that's not. This is not. This is not that. You know what I mean? Like, this is just. I think because I sent him the wrong PNG though. He did do a good job at least matching the colors. But my, my battery's at 1%, y'all, so this is all I'm going to get for the night, you feel me? Yukari night, you feel me? First night out with our first samples ever done. Yeah, it looks kind of tacked right here. I wanted to crop it, but not sure we're going to be able to get that done tonight. Um, but yeah, I'm going to make sure you like, comment, subscribe. I'm going to show you out a green shirt when we do bust it open out the pack. Me and Brian are about to get to promo and everything. Very, I'm going to make sure y'all stay tuned. Like, comment, subscribe. Make sure y'all go follow Yukari on Instagram. Make sure you follow all our social medias. And that way, we going up. We going up. All right, y'all, we cut y'all on real quick, man. I'll show y'all the green one, the green drop. To all the Florida boys, you know what I'm saying? Green drop, green drop, green drop, green to orange drop, you feel me? But y'all always let me know. This is probably going to be the first one that we're going to crop for real, so y'all boys can kind of see what the crop is like. He placed the studios in the right area. I wish he would have did it for all of our shirts, but as y'all can tell, there's the inconsistency in the Pakistan. 
manufacturer, but we didn't want to cut y'all long. You know what I'm saying? Cut y'all back on the road. That looks crazy. Bruh. And it's a good length. Like, open your arms. We should have got. That's a good length. Should have got the whatchamacallit. Should have got every shirt medium. No no funny, y'all. Like, yeah. that's oh, like this, the perfect this medium? Fit. Yeah, this is medium. Yeah, we should have got all medium. All medium, dog. All medium, bro. I can't wait to oh, promo. I can't wait to promo. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> you feel uh, me? This is our first brand, bro. This is what we started with, though, twin. Like, this is kind of crazy. Yeah, like, we're starting off with this. Bro, this is what we started with, y'all. It's only going to get better. It's only going to get better. It's only going to be up from here, bro. And wait till we get the bolt on the these. the studios. Bro, the studios is hitting, popping. Crazy. The studios on this joint hitting, popping. The back is crazy. I don't like the fact that this is, like, pink. Is it? He rushed it. I can oh, tell he rushed it. it. It's is. pink. It's not orange. You can't really tell on camera though. Oh, you can't? No. Nah. It's kind of hitting on cam? Yeah. Bro, wait till we take the pictures and these. Oh. Coming down on